Hi. One uh, vegetarian pizza. It's twelve fifteen. Oh. Uh, by the way, if it makes you feel any better, uh, I happen to like eight-year-old boys. We're done. We're done. We gotta. We gotta stop the recording after that. Um. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Enjoy. See you guys. Uh, next month. I'll. Yeah. I'm going. So this is uh my apartment now that Friends is over. Uh, let's just check out the, the view of the city. You know, the, the living room area right over there. Obviously no furniture, as you can clearly see. I haven't bought furniture yet, that's okay. It still looks nice, okay? And uh, yeah, maybe I'll continue watching Friends someday, but is that day to day? No. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna be arrested. <laughs> So today, I'm obviously at my new place. I don't know if that was obvious for anybody else, but for me, it was obvious only because I live here. Now, I'm at the new place, guys. The, the, the acoustics are a lot different. I feel, I hear an echo. I don't know if it's, if it's echoing on the audio there, but man, there's a, there's a crazy echo unlike ever before. New chair, old chair is permanently gone. Rest in peace, never named it. It's probably for the best. Obviously, new surroundings. I, I was thinking about opening that door and letting you guys see the crazy view. I have a view similar to the friends of this series. So when I look out my window, I can see an ugly naked guy across the, uh, in the other little, other, not little, but other like kind of skyscraper over there. I'm in the city. What city? That's a great question. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Drop a like on the video if you wanna see more Friends content and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see, well, more Friends content and just other content in general. We got some new shows. Well, by the time you guys see this, new shows will probably already be on the channel. But on Patreon, we are further ahead in Friends. So if you wanna catch up to where I am, I'm proud by the time you guys see this on YouTube, I'll definitely be in season six. So if you want to catch up in season six alongside of me, feel free. We're on Patreon somewhere in season six right now. Maybe in season seven, maybe not, but definitely in season six. We're going to get into this reaction. I've wasted too much time talking as usual. And then somebody's going to hit me with the you talk too much comment. Man. All right. Let's go. It looks like an eight-year-old boy. Yeah, well, if that was true, gym class would have been a lot more interesting. <laughs> Why did he think, why did he look like that? Somebody got a haircut. Why would he sound like a duck? Yeah, it did seem casual. It did not seem like flirting, Ross. See flirting, I'll show you flirt. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you know flirting when you see it. <laughs> Ross immediately goes, I'm good. Of course, it had to be Chandler being this one to flirt with Ross. Maybe that was a little callback. Dang, this is always so loud. Maybe that was a little callback to, uh, you know, Chandler, <laughs> the Chandler gay jokes early on in the series. They sprinkled those uh, jokes here and there throughout the series, but every time Chandler does anything close, right? I just automatically assume they're referencing the jokes they used to make earlier on in the series. I don't know. Somebody let me know in the comments, is that what they did just now? Probably not. <laughs> it was probably just Chandler demonstrating he could bag Ross if he really wanted. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Is that what this is about? You like Caitlyn? Is that what this is about? Why did he look at Rachel for permission? <laughs> Ross, we broke up two years ago. You've been married since then. I think it's okay that we see other people. <laughs> he really looked at Rachel. Hey, why don't you wear those earrings I got you? <laughs> Gotta go home and get the earrings that, that you borrowed from me, okay? I, I need those earrings you borrowed. Oh, um, okay. What, what, what's happening, Rachel? Do you not have them? No, no. You let me Monica's earrings? I'm not allowed to borrow 
her stuff. Because I lose her stuff. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe you could buy her an earring that looks very, very similar to the other earring. Pizza delivery. I'll get it. I will get that. Okay, does Ross have Riz? Let's see. By the way, if it makes you feel any better, uh, I happen to like eight-year-old boys. We're done. We're done. We gotta, we gotta stop the recording after that. Um, so I'm just gonna, yeah. All right, enjoy, enjoy. See you guys uh, next month. Oh, yeah. I'm going. So this is uh, my apartment. Now that Friends is over, uh, let's just check out the, the view of the city. You know, the, the living room area, right over there. Obviously no furniture, as you can clearly see. Haven't bought furniture yet, that's okay. Still looks nice, okay? And uh, yeah, maybe I'll continue watching Friends someday, but is that day to day? No. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna be arrested. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna continue, you know, just for you guys. Uh, obviously not for myself or anything, but for you guys. Uh, I just have to take a little break there because what was that? <laughs> how, how do you how do you how do you mess up that badly? How do you like? I figured he was gonna have zero riz, but how do you have negative riz? Negative riz, <laughs> bro. You gotta, you gotta leave. You couldn't let me have her, could you? Bro, what? Chandler was totally flirting with a hot delivery girl. What is his deal? Thank you for that. <laughs> like what? That wasn't even flirting. You're going out with Ross. Did it bother you when he flirted with other women? Uh, no, no, it bothered me when he slept with other women. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we had to bring that one back. Welcome back to season three. <laughs> they cut me out of the show. Up. Not likely, because you see that body bag right there? That's him? I'm in it. <laughs> oh, just another writers don't really care. For jo just another Joey being the com comic relief of the series now. You and those uh, vegetables have a real uh, thing going on, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm working on my flirting. Oh, I did not get that. Nobody would get that, man. It was just cringe and awkward. I mean, I guess I got it because I'm watching the show. When you flirt with a guy, you think, I'm just flirting, no big deal. But the guy is thinking, finally, somebody who wants to sleep with me. No way! That's actually true. Guys are... Guys are pathetic. Yes. <laughs> All guys that are awake, yes. Unless the guy's in a relationship, then it's like... It's probably a fleeting thought. Oh, this woman probably cares for me as I don't know if a woman flirts with you. Meanwhile, let's 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 talk about you. She doesn't. Is she not understanding? You're old and small. Bro, <laughs> if she understood that, would she be upset? <laughs> or would she be like, "You're right. <laughs> I am old and small." All right, sweetie. That's fine. You didn't do it on purpose. No. Look at you, come here. She lent me the earrings, I lost it. Plot twist, she gets pissed at Rachel? That is exactly why I do not lend you stuff. Okay, I'm sorry I had to pause at 1437. But this is how, this is how people are, man. Somebody could do the same exact thing as another person. And 100% of the times you might get a little more upset at this person A than you would at person B just because of who it is. Like if, if it happens more with person A, maybe you'd be less upset because it happens so much, or maybe you'd be like, how many times have I told you? Like, uh, oh, okay, I'm not gonna get into that. That's a whole different show, but I understand it. I understand Monica's reasonings. Maybe Rachel just has a habit of losing things more often, which some people may think, oh, well, in that case, you should be used to this person losing things more often and you should let it slide. I think, however, unless that person has short-term memory loss, dementia, amnesia, or ADHD, they should have no reason for losing something as frequently as they do. Like if they're just a person that just struggles in keeping things in places they remember without having any, uh, mental disabilities or mental disorders, then I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset. 
if you're neurodivergent and and going around like everything's nor or not neurodivergent, neurotypical and going around like everything's everything's fine and dandy, maybe a little bit upset. But I feel like see, I feel like Phoebe Phoebe's character seems neurodivergent. Like if you've seen her throughout the series, the way she acts, the way she responds to things, the way she just carries herself, she acts as a neurodivergent person. Does she not? Right? Let me know in the comments. I feel like Phoebe is neurodivergent, unlike uh, Ross, unlike Rachel, uh, Monica, you know, the rest of the cast. Joey just... <laughs> he's, the... he's not neurodivergent. He's, he's just dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Love you, Joey. Love you. Love you. Love you. I think they're gas. Gas? You know that smell gas has? Ross. What? <laughs> she didn't even take the money. That's how bad you are at flirting. And besides, I, you know, I think he really likes you. We have seven people and like ten pizzas. What do you think? <laughs> I, just, I thought Joey was there. He was at first. Oh, Joey must be the one that ordered the first three. <laughs> Why did bro order three though? Where's that pizza going? I want a suitcase filled with a hundred thousand dollars. I'm gonna shoot this duck. Bro, not the duck. <laughs> wow, she actually buys this. All of them were looking out for each other, except Joey, who was looking out for well himself, numero uno. That's what you gotta do in life. But it, the friends were all looking out for each other. That's actually, that's actually crazy, man. Amazing episode. First episode back in a really long time, and this is what they hit me with. Greatness. Just greatness. You know? I really love Monica and Chandler. Like, they, they are a phenomenal couple, and I can't wait to see more moments of just them together. That'll be awesome. And as for Rachel doing that thing for Ross, I feel like that's gonna come back to like, I wouldn't say haunt Rachel, but I feel like that's gonna come back around. Like that may be something she eventually tells Ross in the future. And then we'll look back on this episode with greater appreciation for what Rachel did. Maybe on their wedding day, if they ever get married. I don't know if those two are ever gonna get married, but as for right now, they're not together. So who knows? the future of them besides all of you guys watching my reaction <laughs> don't tell me <laughs> please no <laughs> please don't tell me i would rather not know and yeah <laughs> so we're gonna just get into this next episode and find out what happens in the episode uh 20 thank you all for watching this far if you watched this far and for those of you that did watch this far i appreciate you the most you know, it lets me know, hey, this specific person likes watching my content. Cause some people watch what they wanna watch and then they click off the video. <laughs> I understand that completely. I do that with some videos I watch on YouTube. But for certain people that I watch on YouTube, I'll watch the whole entire video from start to finish. I don't know if I'm that kind of YouTuber for you guys, but if I am, hey man, shouts to you. Shouts to you guys for supporting me and for oh still staying subscribed even upon my moments of inconsistencies you know really appreciate you guys and i will see you guys in the next reaction